is why mm. walileta watu wao mm. na sisi tukaleta watu wetu mm. so the president mumkutoe kwa hiyo story, story. ayuko mm. msimuingize hapo mm-hmm. unaona yeye ako busy anafikiria vile tutaleta mm. gharama ya maisha chini mm-hmm. na unajua tunajaribu vile eh, juu chini yes. tuhakikishe yes, gharama ya maisha tume tumerudisha chini mm. lakini itawezekana vipi gharama ya maisha tunataka kurudisha chini mm. na hao wengine wanatushika nyuma na unajua the cost of living I mean as a country or as a sorry as a government mm. hatuwezi ku sort cost of living mm. kwa kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa haiwezekani <laughs> maana right. you know no, no, This is the modern vibes on vibes radio with almighty god 17 minutes after 7 right here mm-hmm. uh, on morning vibes is playing on morning vibes with kevin kevo badman yeah man manzi kama kawaida and you know the frequency mm-hmm. kama kawaida bila kupoteza ni mombasani so about 98.7 eh nyeri 98.8 and we are back there with the bang man and of course mir 107.1 eldoret 107.5 now of course tuko ndani kama mbegu ya avocado kanairo <laughs> 104.5 yo nairobi wagwan yeah man so eh uh, front pages uko na cheki kevo kuna the Where? standard Niko na standard Tell hapa. Tell us Wagwan. Eh kwanza kwa hii standard na naanza kwanza na do. Mm-hmm. Eh gazeti yetu sahi ya the standard. Eh mm. eh ni ya wakulima. Mm. Eh wamepunguza wamekata VAT. Exactly. Ni rashika yeah. is going at only 60 shillings. 60 Kenya bar. shillings. Yeah, eh. yeah. Pale UG inenda at only 2700 and of course Tanzania it's all about 1700. Na kwa front line bro kuna to sort na bamba kuna teens crisis. Million smoke drink and they skip school teenagers teenagers mm. aya na kuna story ya rashi na jaribu ku end you end back grain deal mm. eh ujao mko kipea patia tu ma ma maunga za chapo ni nini ma grains eh hata kufunga hiyo njia eh alafu western set to crown new football kings hiyo lakini sasa kuna ka story ni kwa na kushow buda mm-hmm. pressure mounts on uhuru over azimio protests Ah exactly why why is the yeah. pressure on who Ka story yeah. ka story hapo kulingana vile wanalia security chief have been tasked to investigate mm. the ongoing demonstration with allegation that the former president could be at the center of the resource yeah. mobilization Kakiru Yeah, yeah. yeah. but then imecheki sana waki Kakiru wanalia uh, na rusha Kakiru Yeye ndo anafanda uh, yeah. wote wazimio Manze. So I've been seeing some politicians from mm-hmm. the Kenya Kwanza side wakisema oh you know including the president. Wamwacha tu. Wanasema oh uhuru please hata Murko men nilimona akisema mm-hmm. chana nini na at azimio leader you focus on your retirement fitu kai hizo nini nini. <laughs> Murko men was actually saying uh, leave Raila Odinga to us we will deal with him uhuru leave him alone. Yo Kev. Mm-hmm. Kev unajua sasa kitu nanishangaza mm-hmm. is uh, <laughs> you know as a president mm-hmm. unafaa kukua unafaa ku act in a certain way unafaa yeah. kukuwa yani oropoku sana dikoram yeah, yeah? Diko but to me mm-hmm. and i'm saying this respectfully <laughs> respe- very respectfully to uh-huh. our president it seems as if uhuru is more presidential yeye ndo menyamaza sana eh manzi alafu ruto ndo anabonga dead you know to me na sana sana julia what is uh, what exactly is going on and why is president uhuru silent Silent, why is actually why he, is the president silent? He, when I say yeah? silent is very loud. <laughs> silent is loud. Yeah. Yeah. It's very loud. Yeah. Na mimi naona personally as a young Kenyan mm-hmm. I'm, I'm observing him mambo ya siasa. It seems to me uh-huh. that uh, the president um, um, the, the, the former president mm-hmm. um, anafanya hii government yetu uh, haija settle sana. You kweli. know they seem to be so worried about the, pre, the former president's resources. Eh kweli. Ku, yes. eh, na, na resources ziko mm. sete ziko lakini yeah. like, pili wana, wana sa, wana feel uja watu wengi wana feel. Mina, yes. mina feel ni narrative. Exactly. It's like eh ati eh ujo hunyali alifanya Ruto alifanya miaka yake tano mm-hmm. Ayukuwa fine. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So ni revenge of the ninja tattoo. <laughs> Pia na make sure zako taro. I mean it's okay, crazy. Okay, but narrative. Your, your, your silence ni normal mm-hmm. but uh, I mean uh, na kumbuka pia wasal kuna sema you know should the, should the former president retire from active politics. Mm-hmm. If he is is okay the question is is he even in active politics? Ndio ako part of Azimio bado. Yeah, but really. Hata wakisema hivyo. Really. Hadi voki wakisema hata hivyo. Yeah. Atoke kwa politics aje yeah. bro na bado ni vibrant ni myang unagea ni myang kwa politics <laughs> uchagi hata wa mtume huko nje vile tu anafanya yani wa mtumie kama mm. government na ni ukweli angefa kwa yeye ndio kwa katikati ya kwambia baba lao na 
Yeah. Baba yo, yeah. eh tuli, tulizo nini inchi ni kubwa kushinda kila mtu. Exactly. Unanishika? Yeah. But sasa vile afanye hivyo sio wanamwekelea mama mbo mob sana. Kikwete, mm. si bado anakuwa ngoko hivi kwao bado oh, ana yeah, ana rama program. True, true. Eh, so wezi vibrant huko. Eh, wezi ambia the format yeah. yawe jikate wacha exactly. politics na hiyo ndio walikuwa nakulanga. Sa, so Kev, ah. uh, before to and uh, to before to check nini na happen on the front page of the Daily Nation, I mm-hmm. check our very special guest I may arrive on the boss here Janda. Karibu sana Mhesh. Asante sana. It's a, it's, a, it's a bright morning. Kabisa. I'm very bright. Kuna kuna traffic huko kama maandamano imeanza. Bado bado. Leo ni Eve. Leo ni maandamano. Exactly. Karibu sana lakini. Iko sawa. Yeah, so tunapitia tu magazeti. Okay. Niko na copy of the Daily Nation over here okay. and they're saying enough is enough. Page one comment. The country's fate lies in these men's hands. Uh, decision time. Azimio leader Raila Odinga and President William Ruto have put their feet down on the planned protests. Kenyans will be watching if they, together with the country's top security chiefs, Kindiki Haji and Kome, will let the nation slide into anarchy. Mm-hmm. So the men are interior CS Kiture Kindiki, intelligence boss Nurin Haji, uh, police chief Jafet Kome, and of course Raila and uh, the President William Samoe Ruto. Ukiangalia Mhesh on mm-hmm. a page... Uh, uh, and and I'll throw this to you. I just want to pick your brain. Mm-hmm. Page uh, 7 mm-hmm. of the Daily Nation. Omendika pa Ruto Camp six deal with Azimio to end protests. And on up insiders have confided in the nation that the emissaries have roped in National Assembly minority whip Junet Mohammed, mm-hmm. uh, Azimio spokesperson uh, Professor Makao Mutua and a top government official in the security sector to lead the talks with the timeline of September the 1st. Now, Pia Naona, yesterday two Kenya Kwanzaa MPs also confirmed that talks are underway to seek truth. Uh, now, Napa, according to an MP, Alisama, yes, we have reached out to Azimio. The country is facing a myriad of challenges that are beyond our reach. We are talking to the representatives, uh, said uh, an MP in the leadership, but declined to confirm if it includes dishing out positions. Kumbuka, uh, last week, the Azimio leadership held the summit at SKM Center in Nairobi before heading to Kibra to launch the 10 million digital signatures drive, uh, collection drive. So, Naskia talks is ongoing. Yes. Doesn't feel like it's official yet. Yes, what sir. are your thoughts? Uh, what, what's your assessment? Uh, uh, Daily, Daily, Daily Nation. Are we heading towards some sort of bipartisan talks once again? I think uh, where I see it from, from the National Assembly mm. eh, naona kwamba hii mambo ya bipartisan sisi kama serikali tulikuwa tumekubali kwamba you know mm. tunataka kukaa na wama jamaa mm. tukae tuonge and you know we come and figure out a mm. master plan vipi mm-hmm. tunaweza ku kuleta inchi pamoja exactly. lakini yale demands ambaye hawa watu wetu ambaye wa, 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 from the opposition mm. walikuwa ameitisha mm. it was not possible okay. yale you know wanaonge mambo ya cost of living yes. but wakija kwenye meza hawaongee mambo ya cost of living uh-huh. wanaanza kusema sikiza unasemaje uh-huh. hii serikali amweze kaa nyinyi wenyewe eh, na Hello? sisi pia tunataka yeah. tuwe part and parcel uh-huh. of this government mm-hmm. so you see behind the scene there is so much that is going on mm. na sisi kama serikali tumesema haiwezekani mm-hmm. you know hatutakubali kwa sababu hii serikali sisi tulipigania mm-hmm. mimi nimechaguliwa katika UDA mm-hmm. i was elected as a member of parliament under mm-hmm. UDA mm-hmm. na hii serikali mimi ninaielewa vizuri sana mm-hmm. yeah. na sisi kama serikali tumesema mm-hmm. nyinyi ni wapinzani fanyeni kazi yenu na sisi kama serikali tulipatiana ahadi kwa miaka mitano mm-hmm. kwamba tutafanya hii tutajenga barabara tutafanya hii na hii na hii yale yote mm-hmm. mlikuwa mnasikia vile jamaa tulikuwa tunaongea katika kampeni na rais akiongea mm-hmm. that is what we were telling our friends that mm-hmm. now give us time let us deliver but but clearly uh, your timelines are muku commit uh, the president was saying 100 days but it seems like he kept on just saying oh ni mimi patini time you know so things are a bit complicated now nini nini alikuwa uh, anasema in fact it's the former regime that got us here but that aside we also saw uh, Nairobi Senator Sifuna alikuwa nasema during the bipartisan talks your your side the government side mulikuwa constantly mnaenda tu yani mnaenda ku consult the president constantly constantly so the talks were not solid as it was na move on the way they were supposed to does it mean that the Kenya Kwanza camps intentionally sabotaged his talks no mm-hmm. that one i can tell you no there is mm. nothing the president is too busy 
he is too busy running mm. this country really? he's too busy trying to fix yale he mess ambayo tulipata uh-huh. mm-hmm. he has no business he has no time mm. ya kukimbizana na mambo ya bipartisan mm. sisi rais alisema tukae mm. na hawa watu wengine mm. tushikane mm. tuende mambo katika bunge wafanye mambo ya bipartisan and that is why mm. walileta watu wao mm. na sisi tukaleta watu wetu mm. so the president mumkutoe kwa hiyo story, hiyo story. ayuko mm. msimuingize hapo mm-hmm. unaona yeye ako busy anafikiria vile tutaleta mm. gharama ya maisha chini mm-hmm. na unajua tunajaribu vile eh, juu chini yes. tuhakikishe yes, gharama ya maisha tume, tumerudisha chini mm. lakini itawezekana vipi gharama ya maisha tunataka kurudisha chini mm. na hao wengine wanatushika nyuma na unajua the cost of living I mean as a country or as a sorry as a government mm. hatuwezi ku sort cost of living mm. kwa kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa <laughs> haiwezekani mwanzo right. you know <laughs> no mazana no mazana you know mwesh hebu nikuulize eh na watu wengi pia watakusikia hii style upande yako eh una believe bado former president uhuru ana dish do ya maandamano he's dishing the money out 100% mm-hmm. mna kitu yote ya kuna kuna kitu mnaweza shikilia ama hii story imetoka wapi evidence if we prove wa Kenya at least wa Kairada you know mm-hmm. acha ni kueleze mm-hmm. mimi ni mwanasiasa mm. na saa nyingine ni mzuri tuseme ukweli 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 wa maneno ni kwamba mm. uhuru kenyata mm. has never accepted mm. that william samoe ruto the president of the republic of kenya is the president of kenya number one what do you mean ali hand over ali hand over na kueleza ali hand over ni kwa sababu hakuwa na choice he had to hand over lakini ndani yake mwenyewe mm. do you know uhuru kenyata never even congratulated william ruto kumwambia oya sikiza mjo maze nimekubali ilikuwa vile imekuwa mm. wewe ndio mdosi swende za kuwa hiyo ndio mnatumia kama guide yenu at kuwa eh hey, unataka kusemanga congratulation so mna no, kwa no, maana no, no, no. muna nini evidence gani prove imetosha serikali mm-hmm. iko na intelligence mm-hmm kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo inafanyika mm-hmm. behind the curtains mm-hmm. kwa mfano mambo ya uhuru kenyata uhuru kenyata mm-hmm. sisi kama serikali tumempatia kazi mm-hmm. kazi yake serikali imempa mm-hmm. ya kuhakikisha kuna usalama mm-hmm. katika nchi jirani you have been seeing uhuru kenyata mm-hmm. anaenda uh, kongo mm-hmm. kwenda kwa masuala ya peace na nini na nini na mimi kama where i sit kama mbunge mm-hmm. zahir janda mm-hmm. wanyaribari chache mm-hmm. nasema naambia rais ngoa hiyo mtu huyo jam, jamaa hapo <laughs> mtuwe kwa sababu yeah. badala ya kwenda kule, yeye amepewa kazi ya mm. kwenda kufanya peace mm. na huku anapeana pesa mm. ya, ku, ya, ku, ya watu kwenda maandamano mm. na kuprotest mm. na kuharibu hii nchi mm. you know It's, it's 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 not well, acceptable. We, we, okay, fine, but we've also seen what wa uh, serikali wakisema oh you know the former president allegedly and an fund uh, anapatia zimio pesa ndo waende wa fund mungiki wa cause chaos. That is true. How can you substantiate these allegations? I mean these are serious things. Maana njenga liko hapa hivi na sisi kemo nakumbuka. Alisema in fact mungiki doesn't exist. Why would you call people's sons mungiki? Unaita watoto watu mungiki and these are people who wana demonstration wanasema please Mr President sort out maneno ya taxes. Hali ya maisha imekuwa ngumu but mna tuita mungiki the, t- the reality is mungiki exists come on how Let can you prove it hata juzi hii mm-hmm. mlolongo hapa part of those people and i can dare say today yeah. wale wa jamaa ambao walienda kuvunja hii expressway mm-hmm. walitolewa kutoka njiru walitolewa kutoka sijui wapi na wapi part of mungiki mm-hmm. walikuwa hapo serikali has intelligence mm. you know mm. so it's something we at ways sisi we are a, we are a peaceful country yeah, you know true. we are a democratic country mm. and that is why these people are taking advantage why do you... of that uh, uh, ile sheria ambayo iko kwa, kwa serikali ile iko kwa katiba mm. ya, ya democracy mm. you know lakini ingekuwa ni nchi kama Uganda mm. ah yes mbona unadhani uhuru ha respond to these allegations why because he has not he has nothing to say he knows it is true <laughs> wewe nakuuliza bro kevin yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. wewe ume wewe umeakua umekuwa accused mm-hmm. kwamba oya wewe umefanya hii na hii na hii mm-hmm. surely unaongea mm-hmm. unasema eh hey, you know unasema hapana yeah. mimi kweli hii mnaniwekelea mm-hmm. lakini jamaa mazee ametulia 
Mm. Ame feel ame relax haongi. Mm. So so mwesh. So kuna na, ka ukweli hapo. Okay na ukienda kwa hiyo story yako tu nikipigia mpato mm. tungeenda kujua una believe bado hiyo story ya eh, ama do you support the police are using excessive force. Mm. Ku kusomesha maandamano watu wana dead. Mm. Eh mm. unaonaje kuna there is a way mnaweza tumia juu nyindo mko kwa power sai watu wa UDA na nyindo mna run the force sai. Bro ni kunoma. Mm. Pale nje ni kunoma. Mm ukienda pale maandamano na ukiangalia hii maandamano vile inakimbizwa na hao majamaa ni mbaya wakati polisi wanatumia force mm-hmm. wamefika mahali imeumana because haiwezekani wewe ukiwa polisi umekaa ama uko uko patrol mm-hmm. unaona mama ananyanganywa ananyang'anywa simu mm-hmm. anapigwa ama mm-hmm. jamaa anataka ku attempt kufanya chochote mm-hmm. you know kama you know any hata wewe kama mm-hmm. citizen yoyote mm-hmm. you will not agree so imefika ile level watu wame wameamua mbaya mbaya mm-hmm. na polisi pia wanasema hapana mm-hmm. wamejaribu kuzuia na matia gas mm-hmm. lakini nafika mahali kinaumana no, mm-hmm. lazima wa protect inchi mm-hmm. mtu mmoja huwezi kutusumbua watu ama waribu mali waribu karibu watu you know to cause mayhem kuleta shida okay. ya watu karibu milioni hapa ah, haiwezekani so, so, so police sometimes muwaelewe pia mm. wanafanya kazi yao Alright. na sisi kama yeah. wanasiasa mm-hmm. tunasema ndio sio vizuri kutumia excessive force mm-hmm. lakini saa zingine jo ah mm-hmm. inabidi so, so hashtag morning vibes remember mvp report na go down we're hanging out with honorable zahia janda mp nyaribari chache eh, tunabanja hapa hivi story ya pre mandamano analysis and also once again we are saying happy nelson mandela I, international day. day what do you remember about the former ama ni sema this hapa si former this african icon yeah, we're man. forever going to be in our minds legend yeah, let's talk about that hashtag morning vibes at 732 tunarudi na bit morning vibes where you are the mvp no negative vibes